She's in TV and in film. And now the talented actress Savannah Kennick is right here in the studio. You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Hi, AfterBuzzers, and welcome to Mini Spotlight, where we highlight rising stars in music, TV, and film. I'm your host, Amy Cassandra Martinez, and we are joined by Savannah Kennick. Hello. Hello. I love your dress. I know I've said it like five hundred <laughs> times, but guys, can we just take a moment? Podcast listeners, it's gorgeous, so watch our video as well. Cheetah girls, cheetah sisters, <gasps> you know? Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> yes. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Who was your favorite? Did you have a favorite? <sighs> I was always torn. Like, it changed every time. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's I, hard. I don't even remember their names. I just remember, like, like, I remember the pink one. The pink one. Oh, she was the was tallest. Adri- oh, Ke- Ke- I don't remember that, her name. But I'm so sorry. I'm so okay. sorry. The disrespect. No, it's okay. Great movie if you haven't seen Cheetah Girls. Honestly. Definitely. The first all one. of them. I mean, the first one's the great, first one's but great. all of them are amazing. I know every lyric. It's horrible. Cheetah. That's what we're going to talk about, actually, the whole mm-hmm. interview. <laughs> you didn't know that. <laughs> Your last one Disney like, movies uh, we know. <laughs> But, no, we are going to talk about, you have three things that we definitely need to talk about. Okay. Bloom first. Tell us all about it. And you've actually won a few very important awards. I have. Yeah, so Bloom follows the story of Annabelle, and she's a model that goes to New York. And she gets into really the wrong time at the wrong place, and she's just not secure in saying no to this photographer that overpowers her. And it's a really timely story (laughs) to be telling. What about it? was was the first thing that made you say, okay, yes, I'm doing this? I Well, I started modeling in New York whenever I was 14, so I saw a lot of people that just take advantage of their power. Mm-hmm. And I was 14, and I didn't know how to say no, and I wanted to be like those 21-year-old girls who just showed up and were effortless, and that's just not reality for a 14-year-old. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, absolutely, like, reading the script and being like, I know this feeling 100%, and then, you know, I met the director, and he's the kindest human being that I've ever met, and the vision of what they wanted the film to be like. I was like, how can I not do this? Of course, it feels like it was meant to be. It really was. What was the audition process like? I only won in one time. What? I know. It's Okay, so that doesn't happen, guys. It doesn't happen, like, ever ever but I went in one time it was like a Saturday morning and I complimented his eyebrows which is why I think I got it oh yeah all being real now (laughs) I mean why like are they like he has the most amazing eyebrows I hate him thick or groomed it's like like thick and polished but like perfectly on his face and like he doesn't he like doesn't have to keep up with them (sighs) I know I hate it I know I'm like so now where uh what awards did you win because I know like bloom has been blooming (laughs) <laughs> the, the circuits, is, yeah. It really has. Yeah, I won Best Actress at the Hollywood Real Independent Film Festival, and then we won Audience Choice at Beverly Hills Film Festival. So what's really cool? What is that like for you? I mean, like we we hear you know people <laughs> going to to festivals and screening yeah. those films, but to be winning them and being like, whoa, it's kind of weird. Yeah, why? I like don't know what to say, and then it's like, how many people have seen this movie? I don't know how to like respond to compliments. I never have. What? So, like, uh, going to Beverly Hills Film Festival, like, all these filmmakers were coming up to me, and they were being like, oh, my God, great performance. And I was like, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, <laughs> what about it makes you so so nervous? Like, it, you know? Yeah. I mean, they're all, like, talented filmmakers, and I'm, like, overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. That's what Overwhel- it is. It's, I mean, we I'm get that. overwhelmed. Yeah. We've been there. Yeah, exactly. It's that feeling. I was just like... A fish out of water. I grew up in a small town. And that stuff doesn't happen. Where? It's outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's okay. called Bethel Park. That sounds very sweet and quaint and lovely. Yeah, it's okay. No. <laughs> well, and now where are you? You're based here in Los Angeles. Gotcha. Hallelujah. Yeah, we love it here. <laughs> um, so we do need to talk about Liza on Demand. Mm-hmm. That is the full title. It's not like you can find it on Demand. <laughs> it's Liza on Demand. Yeah. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah. So it starts. It comes out on June twenty seventh to YouTube Red. Ah, <gasps> cool. Yeah. I play Clara on the show, and it's really funny. The easiest way to sum up my character was before my character had a name. Her name was Gossip Girl. <gasps> X O X O Gossip Girl. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. We need to hang out. Like. I'm so yeah. ready. I don't have hair to flip. No. <laughs> but I'm so ready. Yeah. <laughs> so that's cool. What was that audition process like? Was it slightly similar? Did you compliment the It was the so weird. I went in one time. Girl. And I went in for a different part. And then my agent called me like two days later and was like, hey, you booked it. 
But it's not the one that you went in for. See, I think this is a sign that you've got it. Like, if oh, you stop. literally... stop. You're going to make me blush. That's fine. Blushing's allowed here. Because if you literally... You go in one time, and that's already happened twice. Like, hello. I mean, hopefully it's good things. I think it is. <laughs> so, like, do you have plans to watch it on YouTube, Red? Like, what are you planning on? So. Like, you know, is it weird for you, though, to watch yourself on camera yeah. or is it not like you're going to be watching this interview i know you will hi savannah in the future hi <laughs> oh, that's cool i like that <laughs> it's a little weird yeah. i mean like i think at this point now i've disassociated enough from yeah. myself it's like watching it it's like watching a different person which is interesting yeah well and it kind of is yeah like, if you think about it yeah it's just not me that's yeah. not savannah that's clara whoever she is yeah clara or exactly. annabelle or whoever so I'm getting better at it, thank God. My mom hated watching. I had a movie come out called Holidays, and my mom hated watching it with me in theaters because I, like, shrunk into my seat on opening day. Yeah. I mean, I think that's true of a lot of really talented actors as well, so don't don't feel... Yeah. Please, this is so fun. <laughs> cool. Well, hey, it's okay. We're here to give them to you because they're very well-deserved. So, it's okay. Let it all out. We're here. Don't worry. Thank you so much. <laughs> So now another film that you're in is called Do Not Reply, yeah. but do tell us what it's about. <laughs> so in the film, I play Chelsea's older sister, Christina, and the story essentially is Chelsea using a dating app to meet a guy, <laughs> and he's <laughs> not a cute 17-year-old boy. Oh, no. And he takes her away and <gasps> transforms her into his perfect girl. What? Yeah, don't swipe right on Tinder. Oh my god, Don't that, do it. that's almost like a horror movie. It is, it's a thriller. Okay, I was yeah, gonna yeah, yeah. say, it's like a romantic <laughs> comedy. If they were like, yeah, it's a rom-com. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's so crazy. It's fantastic <laughs> and very easy watch for, you know, like a date. Yeah, date thing. totally. First date, first date that you meet off of a dating app. That's oh, how you great. Take them. <gasps> yeah, so where's that gonna be? It comes out next year. Oh. And I generally know nothing about anything until like a week before because I don't know how to keep secrets. Oh, you're like Tom Holland. Yeah, I get too excited. Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. It's fine. I mean, when you know, we'll know. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so now, looking forward to the future, um, if you could give yourself a message for 10 years from now, like 10 years okay. from now. Okay. Okay. Look, just give yourself a message, <laughs> what you would like to be doing. I'll be about to turn 30. Oh my god. I'm so such sorry. A I can't. Baby. I can't. I'm 20 this summer. I can't. Girl. Okay, so 30 year old you. 30 year old me. Her 30s are very cool. I hope so. Right? Because, like, teens have been rough. Teens. Oh, teens are rough. They've 20s rough. are much better. Okay. I have to say. Hallelujah. I mean, I hope by 30, like, I've calmed down some. 30 year old Savannah. No. Take a chill pill. No, basically. Don't take any, chill pills. <laughs> any roles you would like to to go into? Of course, I wanna. Jamie. I've like decided within the next ten years. Okay. I want to work with Kate Blanchett. <gasps> oh my gosh! And yeah. David Fincher. Okay. Yeah. What are some of his favorite movies that, that he's done? That, that you he's like? done. I love Fight Club. I loved Gone Girl. How can Gone. you not? Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. So yeah. So. Well, hey, what about a David Fincher movie with you and Kate Blanchett? Done. Put it into the universe. It's gonna happen. Now. <laughs> I would like rap and like be in a coma. And I, like, uh, but be then able to come back it. to life so that you could be in, in the movie. <laughs> come on. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. It's thank been a you. blast. I wish you so much success, and I'm so excited to see where you're gonna be in the next like thank ten you. years and even heck two years. If you can just tell everyone where they can find you on social media, so they can follow you. All of my social media is at Savannah Kenick. It's easy. And those are, that's four ends. It's four ends, yes. Yeah, Savannah, like the city in Georgia, most importantly. Yes, and Kenick with two ends. Ken and Nick. Oh. Huh. Yeah, you I break it that. down. Easy, so easy multiplication <laughs> or subtraction. Yes, there you go. And you guys can find me on all social media at Amy Cassandra MTZ. That is an abbreviation for Martinez. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV.